This legislation will provide a streamlined and more efficient process by which disabled veterans and their spouses are able to obtain a property tax exemption for their principal residence. I was first alerted in the need to revise this statute when Mrs. Barnes from my district contacted my office earlier this year seeking assistance in obtaining this exemption. Mrs. Barnes had been trying for 10 years to get this exemption and has been faced with countless obstacles, obstacles and bureaucratic red tape. Ultimately, it was determined that a change in the statute was needed. My bill will simpl simplify the current property tax exemption process and allow all veterans who are discharged honorably and who have been rated 100% disabled by the VA or who have received assistance for specialty adaptive housing to be exempted from having to pay property tax on their principal residence. Another important component of this legislation is that this benefit will remain available to and continue in favor of the unmarried spouse of the veteran in cases where the veteran has passed away. On the eve of the Memorial Day holiday, this is a small token of appreciation we can bestow on our brave and honorable service men and women. However, this measure is just the beginning in what I hope is a long line of benefits and programs we implement for our veterans. We must continue to ensure that Michigan provides its veterans with the best possible services and care when they return to our state. 